going on, Chopper Fet Familia? We are in a Philip 66 gas station with at What's Up Bob on YouTube. All right, so for you who don't know, What's Up Bob is also What's Up Dad to me. He has just started his YouTube channel. So I figured, let's ask him some questions. <laughs> so, what's up, Bob? Oh, what's up? Not much. How did you get into a uh, motorcycle? Tell the people about yourself. Yeah, so, I haven't ridden in probably 40 years. My wife and I, or my girlfriend back then, now my wife, used to ride two up in high school. Hadn't rode since, so. Chopper fed. And the flying frittata, both had bikes. I kind of got the fever. Went out and uh, purchased a fat boy without even passing the MSF course, which is probably stupid. But hey, it, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Been really enjoying it. I've always been a very safe driver, I felt. And so that has. That has corresponded over to motorcycle riding, which is why my wife is not overly concerned about my riding a motorcycle. That's good. So you took the safety course. Sounds like you bought your motorcycle before taking it, just like I did. Well, I do pride myself on going to parking lots and practicing some of the maneuvers, slow speed stuff. I really feel like that does help. Oh. But, but both you and I both know, especially from your near death, near dear experience a while back, that the MSF course is by far the most valuable thing you can do if you're planning on riding a bike, or even if you've been riding a bike. There is so much to learn in there um, that when you get out on the road and you come across a situation, it becomes a little more instinctive. Oh yeah, for sure. Because like on that deer video when I went over it. I broke it down to literally fractions of a second and you saw all the different hand movements that you know just instincts kicked over and you know if you don't take that safety course I might hit that deer it might be a different story so that is correct so you, you know your for all your fans that are still listening to you that uh, I said a few minutes ago fat boy well and you saw from Chopper Fed shot of me I'm now on a 2012 anniversary V-Rod and uh, so how does that come about? Well, we thought when when uh, the flying frittata comes up from Oklahoma instead of him riding his bike all this way, we'd have another bike for him to ride when he's up here. So that's the reasoning I gave myself and my wife. Well, that's cool, yeah. People don't, uh, people are hit or miss on that V-Rod it seems like though. It's a, it, it, it is so much fun. If you want to check out my channel sometime, I am going to have a review of my riding uh, experiences, things I like about it, things I don't. So I say, yeah, for sure, check that out sometime if you want. It's uh, What's Up Bob, without the apostrophe. Don't ask me why, that's just the way I did it. <laughs> so yeah, go definitely go ahead and uh, check out his channel, guys. His uh, introductory trailer is... Uh, it's top notch. I could tell it's going to be a lot like I am, very sarcastic and dry at times, which is which is good. Uh, well, I, that, that's what you get from an old part, right? <laughs> you get sarcasm. Filters are off, um, but I do filter down. I'm not uh, I'm not cussing uh, up a storm, but I am definitely letting you know what's on my mind and what I'm thinking about. Yeah, that's cool. It's. I'm kind of the same way. I keep my filter off camera. It's, you know, I'll I'll, I'll cut out a lot of things that might have been said on camera that uh, I don't need my son to repeat or your grandkids for that matter. So it's just a, a personal thing. I'm not going to, you know, judge anyone right or wrong if they have a little bit more explicit content on their channel for language and that sort. But you know, as far as, as, far as my channel goes, I'm, I made it for my kid and I gotta, I gotta keep it friendly for them. And I will say I'm doing my channel for, because I enjoy it. I've always done 
videos of the grandkids and stuff, and I try to make them a little more cinematic at times to kind of give you a little bit of interest other than just the content of what we're talking about. So, um, you may not see a video per week from me, but when you do, I think it's going to be something you enjoy. And if you do, click on that subscribe button, and while you're there, click on the ringing email. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's, that's my channel. Brett, sorry. I took it over. He's, he's two videos in, ladies and gentlemen, and he's already got the, the plugs in, so I think he's going to become a natural at this. <laughs> We, uh, we just got done uh, obviously filling up with gas because he about ran out. He got down to about 10 miles left, give or take. But uh, we're out shooting some uh, B-roll footage for our bikes here today. So hopefully we can have that shown for you on our respective channels and Instagrams. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of introduce Mr. What's Up Bob. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Yeah, I appreciate the shout out. I just started this thing two weeks ago. Very excited about the, the What's Up Bob channel though. So, uh, so much so that it's consuming me and I, I think the wife is actually leaning towards the possibility of What's Up Bob getting that Insta360 R, <laughs> which, uh, yeah, I would like that a lot. But uh, I'm playing right now with an extra camera Chopper Fed had and it's loaded me. So let me get my feet wet. Here we go, boys. Guess what? I didn't. I didn't hear it either, guys. Oh, there's a bike for you. Woo! Just a little bit out the B rod. She red lights at 9,000 RPM. High speed transmission, 125 horsepower, 85 foot pounds of torque. So it's got all that this old guy ever would want, anyway. It would outrun the Dyna in a straight line, that's for sure. Yeah. Signing off. All right. See you later. This is my turn. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks, Chuck. See you. What's up, Bob? Dad? All the above. Nice riding with you. We'll talk later. All right. So that was What's Up, Bob. Hope you guys uh, appreciate the little impromptu interview I gave him. He was uh, not quite expecting that. <laughs> But uh, I'm headed back home now to check on the wife. She was out planting flowers as I decided to leave today. Not really what you want to you know, leave your pregnant wife home doing is planting flowers, but she said go ride. I went and rode. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully you guys are going to uh, like these uh, photos that came out. Uh, I, I'm trying something new. I, I got a, about a 10 year old Canon SLR camera that I think could still could still be a very useful tool for this MotoVlog channel. Now, yeah, the the Canon I think is still definitely hold its own. It won't be used for any sort of like MotoVlog, MotoVlog like these cameras are set up for. They're, it's just not made for that. Uh, but what I think I'm going to be able to do for it is maybe set up my episodes for like in the garage where it's a stable camera. Because uh, the lens I have on there is a what they call a nifty 50 and it is a cheap lens I think it's about hundred and ten hundred and twenty dollars at the time and It's not made by Canon. It's some off-brand But it does a really good job now the drawback though with it is there is no image stabilization to it so Anytime you're trying to record something your hand jerks a little you feel you feel the jerk of it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm curious to see exactly how these photos came out because never done it before. Uh, we kind of did the V rod as the test sample and then we kind of flipped. Uh, shot some B roll footage today in 240 frames per second. You know, just kind of play with it because you know sometimes you need to you need to change it. As cool as these two views are. You need something looking back at you every now and then. So, uh, train. Oh, like my wife said earlier, what are the strippers doing during the coronavirus? How are they paying for college? We are on the dirty curve. Strip club one here, light, and then strip club number two on the other side. 
that dirty curve. Whew, but I'm tired. I'm ready to go home, get some lunch. I think the wife and I might go right back out here in a short little bit of time and and get something to eat, pick something up, and take it back home since the restaurants aren't quite open yet. Woo, almost killed it. <laughs> I thought I was a neutral. <clears throat> All right, well, again, guys, I do hope you uh, enjoyed the episode here today. Just like a little, a little midweek or mid, a mid cycle posting for you. Nothing, nothing too serious today. But uh, yeah, go check out my dad's channel. Uh, What's up, Bob? How? post his link in the description below and he'll have his little icon at the end of this video but uh real nice guy always supports me in everything i do so the least i could do is to uh return the favor as he's trying to start up his channel so that being said i hope you all have a good rest of your day and as always i will catch you on the next dark side as this is the way chopper fett senior later